Okay, one more for tonight. I'm going to be doing a negative space. This time I'm using black. I've already sprayed my canvas, or sprayed, spread my canvas with black, um, Mars black, and I'm getting ready to fill my flip cup and I'm spraying the inside of it. So maybe all of it will run out. <laughs> and I've already mixed my colors. Each have like a drop or two of silicone. And we're gonna get started. A little bit of turquoise. A little bit of a magenta. The turquoise is Artist Loft turquoise. The magenta is, um, I forget which, which, which magenta, maybe a which, which, which. <laughs> I can speak, yes I can which magenta I used, but it also has some iridescent um, medium, a blue, and a green that I mixed using phthalo blue, phthalo green and um, primary yellow. I have no idea what these colors are gonna do. I add turquoise this time. pink and a blue, a little more blue. Like I said, no white this time. There is, I did put a little bit of silicone in the black as well. This time we're gonna start in the corner as I usually do. We'll drag it around. Like I said, not real good there. Overflowed already, but that's okay. get people spray their cups and everything doesn't even stick but mine it's sticking Okay, let's we'll see what happens. Ah, just stuck my finger on her hand in the thing again. I swear I can't. I didn't remember push pins this time so I can stick my fingers underneath even though I forgot my gloves. So swift when it comes to that. I'm tilting because there's a few spots that the, when I flipped and drug, I left the paint a little low. It will, it would level out, but My hands are gonna be black like they usually are white. <laughs> but that's okay. I'll survive. At least for this one. Next time I'll try to remember my gloves again. Getting better at least remembering the push pins. Now it's time to play.
Yeah, as you can see, oh, that was good. You know, like I said, this is the last one for the night. <laughs> Made a pretty mess on the back of the handle. Didn't do too much to the picture, but made my handle messy. It'll survive, and I will survive that too. As I'm sitting here trying to decide what ones I'm going to do next, and where to take it next, I get quiet. I guess I'll be used to that by now. Maybe a little more pain than I needed, but it's not horrible. These are pretty cool, doesn't it? They're getting less and less time for me to get into where I like them. Shouldn't say that because next time it won't do that. We're going to drip a little more color in this one right here. Boy, those just disappeared in the cut down in there, didn't they? So let's torch it a little bit. Not much is going on when I'm torching. And then maybe some bubbles popping. Said it still, this is kind of dark here in the middle. Let's see what I can do with adding here. I know there's a lot of color here already, but. That's a little better. See, I, you can, when you've got something you like the general feel, 
You can always put little drops of color and work it into the pattern. Sometimes I don't like to, sometimes I like to make it do what it, you know, kind of let it just do its own thing. But there are times it needs help. <laughs> and tonight's one of them. I'll pull something up there. Mm -mm. There's a fuzzy, there we go. That's easy to see when you've got a dark base. Not as easy to see when it's a white, when it's a white fuzzy. Okay. doesn't seem to be bringing up much activity because they didn't have a lot of silicone so silicone I had was very minimal and I did make my black thicker than I make my white many times but that doesn't hurt anything so I will uh, pause the video because it's done. That's all I'm going to do to it. I like it. I know it's dark, but I think it's kind of cool. Be right back and show you what its results look like close up. And here's the top view. And we're going to bring you down closer. focus there we go you can see some of the iridescence and metal like a metallic look Sorry about the glare again. And there we go. I'm not sure why we're not wanting to focus automatically. I probably bumped a setting. But if you have enjoyed this video, would like to see more, I'd like to appreciate two things. One, if you would click like if you like the video. Two, if you would like to see more of the type of things I play with and do, because I got still quite a few more ideas, I would appreciate you subscribing. And if you click the bell, you'll get notified when I do come live, or I shouldn't say come live, but when I have posted a new video. Well, this will be it for this evening. I hope you have a wonderful night, day, whatever you have left after you've watched this. And... Catch you on the next video.